Well, there it is, folks. To kick off Stadia's good stuff, we got a bevy of announcements as well as a new 64-player battle royale that we'll discuss. Stadia themselves let the can out of the bag, and we now know what the three demos are going to be this week. We also got a release date for an anticipated game and a new first on Stadia title. I'll also give my final thoughts on all the news so far. We'll go ahead and we'll cover all that in this video. Sit back, enjoy, make sure you hit that like button, follow me on Twitter, sub to this channel for more Stadia videos like this, and let's go ahead and start this with the confirmed first demo for today, which was Pac-Man Mega Tunnel Battle Demo. This is a unique 64 player battle royale that pits you against your fellow stadiums and well you just play some old school pac-man while trying to survive and be the last player alive you can eat your fellow players and take them out that way now i got to play this on my live stream and i was enjoying it but i did get a little impatient at the end because i was a little bit confused on the ui i couldn't tell where i was in the standings the game will also run though at 1999 so not too bad of a price and it will release next Next month on November 17th, while the demo is just going to be with us for just one short week. Now overall, this is a unique and appealing game from the outside in my opinion. Now don't take my head off for this opinion, but this game is really in my opinion trying to secure a more casual player base and with the free demo hopefully that'll give the opportunity for some people to try stadia it's a neat little game personally though it's just not my cup of tea but i think a lot of people will really enjoy this especially if you get the family involved and you get people who aren't usually as interested in video games and this will appeal to them because everyone knows about pac-man this is a solid title in my opinion and i think it's a good get for stadia but we'll see See how this game really looks in the overall picture here on November 17th. With that, the other two demos were surprisingly announced on Stadia's Twitter and not kept a secret. One of the demos is going to be not shocking, which is Immortals Phoenix Rising. That one is set to come Thursday, October 22nd. Obviously, this was to be expected and really not a surprise of any kind. This demo will be the gem of the group without a doubt and probably the one that I'm going to look forward to the most. Now, the second demo I think was a complete shock to everyone, including myself and would have been the last thing that I would have guessed, and that is this game called Humankind. Now, this is a civilization strategy type of game. If you're familiar with the Civ games, this will be up your alley. Now, the game is published by Sega, and this is a game that has a planned release date for 2021. Now, I don't know a whole lot about the game just yet, but there's actually a pretty big community that's anticipating the launch of this title, which really surprised me. Now, I've said this probably a half a dozen times, times that stadia really needs more genres and more different types of games and so far we just don't have a wide variety this is exactly a title that is needed on stadia because there is a huge segment of fans who love these games i am one of them guys i really am and it's a fresh title it's not an older port they could have given us civ but they gave us a fresh title i'm really looking forward to trying this demo out I'm really looking forward to playing it and really diving deep into it. And I'm going to be very excited if this game ends up being just as good as Civ, but we'll see. And it does suck that we're not going to see it until 2021, but either way, I'm happy with the game itself and the announcement, though I'm sure some of you probably won't be. But either way, give this game a chance, especially if you've never tried the Civ games because they're really addicting and they're just flat out fun. Can't wait to see how this runs in place here soon. With that, I'm guessing these three demos are obviously not what you guys were expecting and what you were guessing and putting down on your list. And I'm sure that a lot of you are going to go ahead and let me know those frustrations and disappointments down below. And you guys should. I think you are okay in feeling that and I understand where you guys are coming from. But I'm going to say this. I am impressed that all three games are completely new and unreleased titles. That is a really good thing. There is actually a big following for both Humankind and Immortals Phoenix Rising. So Stadia, in my opinion, has done very well. Yes, I know it's not Call of Duty or a cyberpunk demo or any of the huge titles that a lot of you guys were expecting, but they are solid new titles. And I'm going to take that personally, especially since I was never expecting any massive titles to begin with. 
and one could argue Immortals Phoenix Rising is a pretty big game. Either way, let me know what you're feeling down below. We're going to go ahead though and continue with the rest of this video, and I'll be looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. But alright, Stadia was obviously not done with just the three demos. They also announced a new title in Hello Engineer, which is set to be a first on Stadia game. Not many details on the game other than it looks as though you'll be building your own little vehicles, ground or flying, and you'll be looking to fight the sinister neighbor. You'll be crafting, scavenging, and while playing this first on Stadia. I'm actually pretty interested in this title more than any of the other Hello Neighbor games so far, and I love sandbox games, and I can tell this one will be fun for a younger audience as well to really use their creative imaginations, something that I don't have. So we'll see how the reception of this game ends up being when it does come, and I can't wait to try it sometime in 2021. The last game to be announced here on today's Good Stuff Day 1 was none other than the anticipated Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order that is set to come November 24th. Now I've been really, really excited to get into this adventure. I have been waiting ever since that I heard the announcement that it was coming for Stadia. I'm absolutely looking forward to it, though as I noted during my live stream, I was a bit bummed out to see it so close to the cyberpunk release date, so I probably won't dive deeply into this Jedi story until I finish my playthrough of that game first, but either way I'm very happy to see our first EA game dropping in just one month and this was excellent news all around and I do hope that we get to see the following EA games coming not too long after that one. All right, the last thing to know extremely quickly is that we got more sales. Now we have Destiny 2 sales here. They all look pretty solid. PGA Tour 2K21 with a small sale here. I do not recommend dropping 50 on this because I think it'll be even cheaper in the holiday season. The uh, same goes for WWE 2K Battlegrounds. This one's coming in at $29.99. Not a bad price, but again, I think both of these will be cheaper in the weeks ahead. But if you really want to play both, there's a sale here, so keep that in mind. With that, my final overall thoughts on today's news is mostly positive. Just like all of you, I was definitely hoping by a miracle we'd see the most amazing demo of something insane like a Call of Duty, but I knew that it wouldn't happen, so my expectations were not shattered at all because of it. The games are unreleased and new, and they give the opportunity for people to not only try these games that are completely new, but they also get to demo Stadia itself for those on the outside, and it's completely free. Just that information alone is good news for the health of the platform. With that said, this is just day one. We already have three demos that have been announced. We got a release date for one of the games and another new first on Stadia game is set to come. And this is a pretty good first day, especially on the heels of all the crazy announcements we got last week. Now I'm anticipating more good stuff in the next two days in regards to more games and hopefully more features, but we'll see. With that, let me know your thoughts down below. How do you feel about Stadia's good stuff day one? Are you guys happy with the announcements? Are you happy with the demos or are you guys disappointed? Let me know all that down below. I'm sure a lot of you have a lot of thoughts and voice those opinions down below so Stadia gets to hear your thoughts. Make sure you guys hit that like button as well. Follow me on Twitter where I am very active. Sub if you're brand new. I'm Sunny and I'll see you guys in the cloud.